smart business moves uh, dealing with the uh, coronavirus. We've been saying for the last uh, several days that it's a very fast moving, fast evolving uh, situation. And, you know, that's uh, proven to be more and more true every day. I mean, I guess uh, since we last spoke, which was 24 hours ago, uh, a lot of major sporting events have been canceled. Leagues have been canceling uh, all of their games. Um, you know, the NBA, the NHL, the NCAA tournament. Um, earlier today, the uh, governor in the state of Ohio has canceled school for, for the entire state for like the next uh, three weeks. Thinking is uh, spring break was next week and people are going to be traveling all over the place. And he wanted them to get back home for like a couple of weeks just to see if uh, anybody picked up any, uh, you know, coronavirus that might take up to two weeks for it to, uh, to, to manifest symptoms. So, you know, with all of that being said, um, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, a lot of scary stuff going on out there. A lot of business challenges that we're going to have, but at the same time, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of real business opportunities we're going to have as well, and we have been talking about uh, every day about the opportunities that we have in terms of creating more value and uh, with with the customers and and there's some people are going to be scared to have a cleaning company at home, but there's others are going to see it as an opportunity <laughs> to make their home safer. Um, the labor market should be getting better. A lot of good PR opportunities. Uh, we added non-traditional revenue opportunities. There's going to be a lot of businesses out there are going to be looking for people to just sanitize and disinfect and clean uh, some, some common areas. And, you know, I've got a guest on our uh, call today. I've asked uh, Matt Ricketts to join us, and I'm excited that um, he's got the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Hey, hey thanks, thanks for having me, Tom. Tom. And again, again, this is Matt Ricketts with, with Better Life Made. Made. So, so we've met probably over the years at some point and uh, I love sharing what we're doing. I'm always an open book and, and I feel like collaboration always helps help all of us. So um, feel free to use anything you learned today from me and put it into place. And if you have ideas, feel free to share them back. I want to hear what you're doing. So uh, uh, let's get rolling, Tom. I've known uh, Matt for, for a long time and Matt, I mean, he's a, <laughs> he's a really great business. He's a, uh, strong in a lot of areas but uh one area in particular is marketing and branding and um being able to tell a story and, and get uh you know his clients and prospective clients to to understand what his business is really about and he's doing some pretty rocking things right now in the face of all of this adversity basically uh making an opportunity out of it so that's why um, Matt uh, has been one, one of the many reasons that, that, that we're fortunate to have Matt here today. Uh, you want to share a little bit about some of the things you're doing? Sure. So a couple of weeks back, I started messaging uh, my employees and, and, and such, just letting them know we were going to be making some process changes. Um, we started, you know, it's, what's crazy is my brand is Better Life Maids. We're built off the Better Life products, but I had to move away from them. So we had to retrain my staff on um, some hydrogen peroxide based cleaners, which are green and safe, but are not our brand, you know, so, um, you know, got off our own brand because we wanted to get ahead of this. Um, so is that a change that you made because of the coronavirus? Absolutely. Because, because they have EPA sanitizer and virus side claims. And then we also added a disinfectant. So that's, that's something totally new. We've never thought that a disinfectant was necessary, but we found some disinfectants that we liked that were, um, that are um, non-bleach alternatives, non-quad alternatives, but are but that are also um, um, very safe and effective. So we, we've we've implemented you know some new process, some new new, new processes as well, where um, we actually have only one set of tools for each house now. Uh, we've implemented processes for how to clean and sanitize tools between houses, like vacuums and things like that. That that uh, that are important to to give clients trust. Uh, we started stocking up on things, so I, I don't want to be part of the mask problem, but we do have a, a supply of gloves and masks. How many paper do you have, Matt? Come on, fuss out. <laughs> I'm not saying, but we have enough if, if our customers demand for us to wear masks that we can comfortably do that for a while. Um, I don't have as many shoe covers as you, though. I'm a little behind the shoe cover game. Um, hand sanitizer, we were buying that stuff up weeks ago, and I and I 
you know, I feel like I won the lottery in one way, but I've spent a lot of money getting prepared for this. Uh, and I wish I was wrong. I wish I, I wish I had been wrong a couple weeks ago when I started preparing for this and messaging for it. Uh, and so last week I sent out a message to my um, customers and it was a blog post. This, this is the blog post version of the, um, let me go to my blog here. So this is a, one that I actually put out today. Let's go to the one that I sent out. Um, I sent out one so, called Protective Measures Against the New Coronavirus. I sent this out last week uh, once we were all prepared for this, talking about what we're doing. And you can go to our, our website. I'm not going to read this word for you, word for you but um, you know, we talked about the protocols we're doing to increase things. Um, you know, some, some things you guys might not even be thinking about is we moved, we're, we're moving our model. Like we were moving towards some singles. But I went from 10 singles to about 19 singles in a couple of weeks because we, we were trying to get ahead of this. So that's about half my staff as singles. So I feel like we're, we're, we're doing that for social distancing and to decentralize our business. We also made it so that our staff don't come in our building in the, in the morning anymore. They go right, the ones that are using cars go right to their cars and they load up in them. And um, you know, that way that they're only around one other team member. The reason we're doing that is so that if there is any any um, exposure to coronavirus, we can limit those people and and basically go to tracing that will that will show that we have limited exposure to as few people as possible. And then we're limiting the number of employees that are in the building at any one time to one team at a time, and they're only on the operations side of the of the building, um, and and they have some specific tasks they do at the end of their day, load up their car. And, and they're disinfecting their cars at the end of the day. They're disinfecting all their tools and they're loading them back up at the end of the day. So all these processes, we started getting ahead of this a couple weeks ago. We started really being diligent on reading everything we could about this and seeing if, you know, if, you know, it's one part paranoia, one part, you know, you know, good sense in my in my in my book to kind of get ahead of it. So we we did a lot of communication. So this was a blog post that we did. Um, kind of, you know, getting ahead of it. And then I put out one today that went out to an email. This one I sent out to not only our current customers, I called it Cleaning for Health, kind of inspired by Tom's, um, uh, I think Janice talks about a lot about Cleaning for Health. If you don't know Janice, that's Tom's wife. And she she talks a lot about Cleaning for Health and hygiene oh, and right. things like that. So, uh, you know, I use that term, but then we, we spun it our way. So, um, you know, talking about the fact that we're using these EPA sanitizers, uh, disinfectants, that our vacuums are certified to get particles smaller than the coronavirus. We, but so what the point was, I sent this out to every person that's ever contacted us uh, in the last two years and let them know, hey, we're getting a lot of people interested in cleaning right now and, um, you know, you know, why they're interested in cleaning. So Again, you know, we were down to about $6,500 a day in revenue for next week. And with this email and with this uh, post, let me just quickly share a report. I was going to pull up uh, Made Central real quick. I think I have this revenue production report uh, pulled up. And if it'll come up for me. So next week, we're looking at, you know, we, we added another $1,200 for Monday. We were down about $6,500. Uh, we didn't do a lot yet on Tuesday, but we bumped uh, Wednesday all the way up to 9,000 and Thursday to 8,700 and after that to about 8,000. So we'll still get some cancellations and lose some revenue, but we're in a better position to not be sliding too far backwards. Um, and good communication is how we stayed on top of that. How much, how much new business, Matt, did you get from sending your cleaning protocol and the precautions you're taking to old clients did, did um, some of them come back and say it was, wow. it was also leads it was also leads um yeah we did have some come back but you know the phones have been quiet the last few days until we did this and they were busy we were busy today so um i i would say we added roughly i'm not sure how much this is recurring i'm just looking at it day by day i didn't actually look at how many new recurring sales that we got i know we got a lot of one-time cleans and and such um but i'm thinking uh, we added about uh, $6,000, $7,000 maybe to next week, looking at the numbers. So, I mean, it's not an insubstantial amount of money. That's going to keep, you know, keep some people busy and keep some people, you know, with good full paychecks and, and not, not least of all me, you know, so, um, you know, I've already been socking, I've been socking money away for a while. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, and, uh, 
in business and have as much stability as maybe as maybe Tom and I do. So, you know, if you don't have that, you need to be able to express expertise to your to your leads, prospects, current customers, employees, so that they're confident in your ability to do a good job and they stay on your schedule and that they book with you to do more business. So, um, you know, staying on top of the communication plan. So that that first email actually got me an interview on News Channel 4, which I was hoping that I would get uh, a digital link from that. They, they didn't actually put it on digitally. It, was, it just ended up being like a one and a half minute fluff piece. Um, but, uh, you know, other opportunities to get interviewed are going to come up. So I'm going to take those. And then on um, today, I discussed with my marketing agency writing a white paper about, you know, concrete steps we're taking uh, and using that to uh, reach influencers. I'm not influencers, decision makers in businesses and homes. So I'm going to use Facebook and LinkedIn. I'm going to try LinkedIn for the first time to reach decision makers in facilities and things like that. Like based on some title searching and things like that, facility management. Um, I, I'm going to dig deep into that a little bit in, into LinkedIn marketing. I don't know much about it yet, but I'm going to try and reach decision makers with that white paper and show expertise as questions you should be asking your cleaning service provider during this during this period. So I, my agency is going to help me with the the copy on that a little bit. So don't hold me to that title. But the uh, the idea is that's going to go on. And then I'm going to do a long form video of that, of what we're doing, um, if they want to dig deeper into those processes and um, we're, we're doing that. And then also, I mean, we're, we're constantly communicating with our staff as well, trying to give them some confidence in what's going on. So this is an email that I sent out from Made Central today. This is long form. It, it didn't, for some reason, it turned it all into one big block, but uh, just, I'm going to read the first paragraph and then, you know, go from there. But uh, first off, I want to express how proud of, of all of you I am right now. I know uh, that you're in unprecedented times. The loss can cause a lot of anxiety and stress. So I'm, I'm acknowledging them, right? That they're they're a part of this too. Uh, they're rolling with the punches and showing the world the real value of better, what Better Life Mates has to offer and why cleaning for health is more important than ever. Hopefully, we can turn this current crisis into an opportunity and show the world just how valuable cleaning professionals are and leverage this to our that, to our advantage. I want you to know that we're looking out looking out for you and have your back during these unprecedented times. So we're talking about things like, you know, we want to get this to this together. We're giving them comfort that they should have sick bank in there. If they haven't used their sick bank through the year yet and wasted all of it, we're only into, we're only into March. They should have sick time. We, we load up sick time at the beginning of each year, five, five days. So they shouldn't have burnt through that already, but we also pay out PTO too. Um, so they, they should have time off and be paid if they need it. And we're also really slackening our uh, attendance policy. We're communicating this to our staff too. Um, we're also talking about you know extra steps that we've that have been proven to reduce risk. Um, and then you know my number one goal over the next few weeks is in keeping them health, healthy and focused. Healthy means you're not stressed out about all of this and fearful about your job, family, etc. Take a break from thinking about it from time to time. Hang out with your family. Relax on your days off. And rest assured, we're doing everything possible to keep you healthy and safe. So, I gave them, you know, my my number. Call me directly, and and you know, those are those are just steps with the staff. And I'll show you some training videos. Tom, you had a question? No, we're just saying that you know we want everybody to uh, be mindful of the situation and to uh, to stay sharp. But at the same time, we we need to uh, keep our composure and not not overreact. So you're you're finding that yeah. balance there. Yeah, and I think I think you're 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 having to have different messages to different people. But man, you cannot. You cannot brush this under the rug at this point. Like, I know a lot of people last week were just trying to ignore it and hoped it went away. And I know that I, I've been hearing from friends of mine and, and saying, oh, this isn't going to be by May 1st. This is you know all going to be over. It's like the flu. And I was kind of thinking that at first a little bit too. Um, but you know, it's pretty hot in Iran right now and they're having a pretty big outbreak. You know, that, the, the logic being like, oh, the flu goes away in the summer. And Tom made that comment to me. He's like, Matt, he's like, He's like, it's pretty hot in Iran, isn't it? I was like, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's not, it's not just disappearing, right? So, you know, we're thinking, we're thinking on that. Uh, the other thing that we're communicating with our with our employees is how to do all these new things that we're doing. So let me see if uh, these videos will pop up. But we're creating just simple videos, sharing with them processes, um, sanitizing vacuums between homes. I don't know if I can make this picture a little bigger. I don't want to play the video in the middle of playing another video. That would be very uh, that would be very meta to to try and do that. But um, 
the videos that we're creating are just short little clips on you know new processes for tools, how to sanitize vacuums between homes. I just shot one a minute ago about the fact that we're giving all of our customers their keys back, right? Why are we doing that? Because we want to provide more social distancing. We don't want our, our employees to have to come into the office. Um, you know, we're also going to stop taking cash and checks, at least collecting checks at the cleaning. They can, clients can still mail us checks and we'll, we'll let them know that distinction. Um, but no more, no more handling cash or checks, mostly due to the fact that we want to run a distributed workforce. And that means they have to come in and deliver those things to us. All right, Tom, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I'm, I'm showing your uh, YouTube channel. So if somebody wants to uh, watch some of these videos, I guess you just go to YouTube and uh, they'd have to, I have them hidden at this, at the moment. Um, so you, you, I can share the links. I'm going to keep, keep posting them so I can share the links with you and you can post them. Um, I, yeah. I can put them on our resource page on, on, on cleaning business today. Yeah. So I've got more videos I just shot today. Some of, so I, I shot some client facing ones. I've got another email going out to customers. I feel like I'm emailing the customers like pretty regularly, a couple times a week. But this one tomorrow is going to be about the fact that we're going to be, you know, bringing their keys back. And actually, I think I have it right here. Oh, I put it away. Uh, nope, here it is. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, lockbox. Just kind of going over a video of how that's going to work, where we're going to place them. And I did a video for the staff on where to place them. Um, you know, things like that. How they're coded through Made Central through our software and such. So. Um, it, you know, it, it's just an ongoing process. I, I kind of used to joke that I felt like I was kind of retired from this business, but uh, it still needs me. <laughs> it does. Um, you know, I'm, I'm back. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Matt. We're yeah. uh, running up uh, to, to, to the end of our time here, but uh, I think this is really cool, useful information. And you know, inspiring, you know, for, for it's a, it's a scary time and it's like, you know, what do I do? And, you know, a lot of it's just taking action and communication is so important. You know, it's not even so much about what I, you know, it's just doing it, you know, and getting out there, making sure that your, 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 your customers know you're there and you're, 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 you're aware of the situation and you're planning and your employees want to hear from you because that invokes confidence You know, everybody's a little bit, you know, afraid and, looking for an answer. I mean, you know, you've got, you got clients and you've got, you've got employees and all of them want you to be successful. They want us as business owners to be successful. They're rooting for us. So we just need to yeah. get out there and, and show it. Um, and one of two things is going to happen, you know, it's either not going to be nearly as bad as what some people are afraid, in which case this was a good exercise for planning and we're going to be fine and, and, and life will go on or we'll have a lot of gloves on hand. Yeah, you know, and some face masks that maybe you don't know what to do with. But, you know, if it gets worse, then, you know, that's going to change the value proposition. And there's going to be a whole lot of other people out there that are going to be looking for help that you're in a position to provide it. And for years down the road, maybe for the rest of our lifetimes and beyond, the world is going to look at cleaning in a different light and that's going to be a good good thing for us. That, that's the thing I'm most excited about, Tom, is, is I actually do believe long term the companies that can really show leadership here and show the value in what they're doing are not going to have trouble reaching higher price points that are more profitable and can afford to pay their staff better in the long run because they're adding that value into the process and giving that cut that confidence to their customers. So I, honestly, I think the long-term value, if this if this is just a blip on the radar, the long-term value is you've showed leadership, you showed intelligence, you showed the ability to adapt, and you showed them how you're going to keep them safe and the value you provide them. So if nothing else, you know, take this opportunity to, to strengthen the, prof the professional, professionalism of your business and of our industry as a whole. That I think is the greatest opportunity that is available here. I, and I just want to reiterate that, what you, just, what you said there. Well, thank you, Matt. Um, I'm going to bounce over here real quick and just show everybody our, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, where are we? Actually, I need to do that. I'm getting too much Brady Bunch going on here. Um, cleaning Business Today is, uh, you know, our publication. Uh, oops, I really blew it. Sorry. Um, we got kind of a 
an anchor piece here that we wrote on the coronavirus. We've got other pieces that we're working on. Um, Matt's blog is a heck of a resource as well and some of his videos. And we have this resource page. If you go to Cleaning Business Today, uh, coronavirus downloads, you've got a number of uh, items that we've posted here and we'll continue to post more and we'll put some of Matt's stuff up here tomorrow. Um, if you haven't subscribed to Cleaning Business today, if you would just go to the landing page over here on the right, and please do that. We're gonna be doing more frequent uh, newsletters, email blasts as we learn things and, and come up with materials. And you certainly want to uh, stay in the loop on that. So um, with that being said, uh, we'll see you uh, here tomorrow at uh, five o'clock and, and, and we'll, five o'clock Eastern and, and we'll do it again. Appreciate everybody's time. Matt, thank you so much for your help. All right. Everybody stay safe, safe, safe out there. there. We'll talk to you soon. See you All tomorrow. Bye-bye. Right.